Now, you will notice right here below the tools, we have a series of quick views. The top one is the perspective. If I click on the bottom one, it's the same thing as what we did at the very beginning of the video. Right below that, we have the outliner perspective set up. So this panel layout has been saved for you so you can quickly access it. So think of these guys right here as shortcuts. So if I click on the outliner perspective, it brings me the outliner on the left hand side and the perspective on the right hand side. That way I don't have to create an additional panel and then make this panel the outliner. Now below that we have the perspective and the graph editor. So this is really good for animation. If I use my right mouse button, I can access different setups. So I'm gonna look for one that has three and it doesn't matter which one it is. So I'm gonna pick the Hypershade Render Perspective Vertical and notice that my UI changes, okay? So now this icon has switched to this setup right here because it was one of our presets. If I hold right mouse button, you will notice that these are all the presets, right? But let's say that I wanna create my own. Let's say that at the bottom, I want my graph editor. On the top left, I want my perspective. And on the right hand side, I want the side camera. So for that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna right mouse button on one of these icons. I'm gonna go to the last one. And I'm gonna go to the edit layout. Now with the edit layout, we get this panel right here. So if I click on edit layout, notice that it gives me the current layout. Now what I wanna do, I wanna go to configuration and I'm gonna select the one that I want, which is gonna be three panes, split top. Now what this is gonna do is gonna give me one pane right here, and then I'm gonna have two on the top. So once I've set out my configuration, I have to change the content. So I'm gonna go to contents, and again, these are the numbers one, two, and three. So if I go to contents for number one, I'm gonna select my perspective camera, persp panel. Now for the second one, I'm gonna go to my side panel. And then for the bottom one, number three, I'm gonna select the graph editor. Now this setup right here is something that I use for my animation. I can see the animation moving in perspective, then I can see my side view, so I can make sure that things match the ground and all that, and then I can see all the animation curves in the graph editor at the bottom. So in order to save this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to layouts, I'm gonna click on new layout, and I'm going to change this name. I can save this into my shelf. So I would select my animation shelf and I'm gonna click add to shelf. And I can always rename this later on. And notice that as soon as I close this, I can select any other quick layout. And when I go right mouse button, let's say on the bottom one, I can select Frank animation. And there's my saved layout for my animation.